Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. What is your source of income and what is your source of livelihood? Well, some of us are born with silver spoon and platter. What I mean is that some of us were born rich, that you don't have to toil or labor in order to earn money. But in my case, I have to toil, I have to do my best in order to earn an income. And I think many of us can relate with what I'm saying. And this is my encouragement. Though we have dreams, we have ambitions in life, it will not fall upon us if we will not have these plans and the process in order to achieve to our goal. Let me share you with a little testimony that when I started this farming, I have started with a few animals and then it flourished. We have so many in the farm. When it became so successful, I was informed that this is going to be taken out for public use. And I thought it was the end of the story. But God is really good enough to me that He allowed me to acquire this new farm. And this is just near to the house. And this is more convenient than the previous farm that we had. So today's video, allow me to start with the chicks of this Rhode Island and the Black Astrolorp. Actually, when we had this farm before, this kind of breed of chicken is really very prolific that we were able to, you know, produce thousands of them. In fact, as far as I can recall, we have produced as many as 3,000 heads before. And we sold everything after we were told that we cannot anymore use the farm because it's intended for public use. And until now, I'm still waiting for their payment. I hope that the government will pay us very soon. But then, this farm came. And shout out to the owner of this farm, Mr. Rico. Thanks for the help and for the opportunity to own this land. And today, please witness as we gonna release some chicks. And this is exciting. Please watch this. So now we will put all these chicks inside in this very beautiful cage that I have prepared for them. You know, this farm is really good for chicken because it is far from the household. And uh, I'm so happy that we have so many grasses here for our rabbits and our goats in the future and even for our guinea pigs. So please watch as we're gonna develop this farm into a beautiful and successful farm in the future and i hope and pray that god will be with us so we will start releasing the chicks So guys, you will see that our chickens are in place, chicks I mean, and of course we will feed them because I think they're already hungry. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning.
These are two weeks old chicks that we don't anymore need the heater or the bulb to provide the heat. You see that they already have feathers. But since this area is cold, we will try to cover this with tarpaulin during the night. And what I have in mind are the lizards. That's why I'm asking for your suggestions. If you can do more suggestions about the farm, you can also do this to drive away lizards. And I feel contented with what I have seen here because the activities that they have displayed only speaks of one thing, that they are in good health. So no issues about disease or whatever. I hope that they will become mature and become our parent stocks. And please watch in our next video as we're gonna release as well the Moscovy ducks. I already have contacted my friends and uh, he's willing to share with us the Moscovy ducks breeder. And as you can see at my back, we have the bust of this fish pond and we will integrate the Moscovy ducks. And then of course, I'm looking forward for the goat farming as we have done before and many more. So just stick to this channel because we will be developing this farm in this particular year, 2023. Well, I can see the potential of this farm for our pets because aside from it's really near to the house, it's also filled with grasses that are very useful for our pets. We have this water spinach and also we have this grasses that it's good for the goats and even the rabbits and the guinea pigs. And in our future videos, please be with me as we're going to expand this farm and Please pray with me as we also venture another types of animals. And uh, looking forward to be able to establish this very soon and allow people to just visit and come here and we can learn together. We can share many thoughts and ideas about farming. And that's what all I wanted. That's my desire in our hearts, to help people and be able also to, to know the lives of other people through farming. And this is the thing that we can share with you so far. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and be excited as we're going to upload many more videos about farming. And shout out to the members of this channel. Thanks for your help. And also to our regular viewers, thank you so much. And even to our subscribers, our followers, thanks a lot. And see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.